I'm Peter Franchot, your Maryland State Comptroller. And it's been the honor of a lifetime these past eight years to serve as Maryland's independent fiscal watchdog, to follow in the footsteps of Maryland legends like Louis Goldstein and William Donald Schaefer, and to fight for the timeless Maryland values we all hold dear. More than anything, I'm grateful for the confidence Marylanders have shown me and proud of what we've accomplished together. Under my leadership, the Comptroller's Office has made it easier than ever for honest Marylanders to file their taxes, pay their bills electronically. As a result, we've saved the state millions of dollars, and we've made sure that most taxpayers get their refunds within three business days. At the same time, we've rewarded the vast majority of Marylanders who pay their fair share by going out and aggressively collecting delinquent taxes from those who haven't. To date, my office has recaptured more than $3.7 billion that's rightfully owed to the people of Maryland. Money that we've been able to use to improve our schools, clean up the Chesapeake Bay, provide quality health care, and keep our community safe. Money that didn't require a single new tax or fee. As Maryland's Chief Fiscal Officer, I've taken a hard line against wasteful spending, excessive debt, and higher taxes on struggling consumers. Even when it's put me at odds with members of my own party, because you didn't elect me to march in lockstep with Annapolis insiders, you elected me to protect your hard-earned money, to ask the tough questions, to hold Annapolis accountable for choices that affect your family. These past few years have been tough on Maryland's working families. And amid the slowest recovery we've ever experienced, we're not out of the woods yet. Far too many of our friends and neighbors are still struggling to keep a roof over their head, to put food on the table, set some money aside for college and retirement. Now more than ever, we need a comptroller who's dedicated to better taxpayer service, who will make sure that everybody pays their fair share, who shares your commitment to those values that make Maryland the best state in the country, and who will make sure that ordinary people always have a voice and a friend in Annapolis. My wife, Annie, and I have been proud to call Montgomery County our home for the past 34 years. And we are grateful to have raised our two wonderful children in a county we cherish in the state that we love. I stand before you today as Peter Francho, respectfully asking for your support to continue in this job that I'm humbled and honored to have as I seek another four years serving as your comptroller. Thank you for the faith that you've shown in me and God bless you.